Fire Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for, uh, I'm actually going to do it for the whole weekend. This is going to be for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So the 4th, 5th, and 6th. I do apologize for my absence. I have had the, the terrible, terrible flu. So um, I have been gone for a couple days. For those of you who have ordered readings for me in the last week, you will be getting those either today uh by the end of the day or first thing in the morning um they're just being processed and uploaded i was in the in the middle of uploading videos and i just got the a horrible stomach flu so um it halted right there <laughs> and i today's the first day i've been out of bed for four days so i do apologize for the delay and i thank you for your understanding all right so let's see what our air signs have in store for the weekend. First row will be Gemini. Second row will be Libra. Third row will be Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to stick you down here. All right. Three cards for Gemini. Thank you. All right. Your guys' first card out is the Three of Pentacles. The High Priestess, and the Prince of Swords. All right, Libra. Three cards for Libra for the weekend, please. Thank you. The Chariot, the Ten of Wands, and the, oh, you got two there, the Ace of Wands and the Hanged Man. Big things for Libra coming. Whew. All right, and Aquarius, the Queen of Swords. Quite, you have quite a few here too. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Hello. I'm going to be an Aquarius today or this weekend. Beautiful energy. Okay. I am going to get uh, two more for the Gemini to equal out the energy. You guys have the Hierophant in reverse and the Three of Swords. Okay, this, this reading might take a little bit. There's a lot of cards here. <laughs> and one more for our Libras. The Lovers. Dang. All right, your guys' bottom of the deck, shared energy and overall theme of the reading for the weekend is temperance, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. The next card out is the Ten of Cups, so I'm taking it and keeping it. All right, let's see what we all got here. Well, we'll start with the bottom of the deck. So you guys are, um, are patiently awaiting the, the next chapter in your life. Um, there's, you guys are finding healing balance. Um, overall, you, you know, that there's going to be a lot of hard work that's going to, um, be involved within this relationship, within this situation, but you're not afraid to work hard. You're not afraid to put in the time. It, it takes to a heal yourself and b make this relationship work. Um, this is a twin flame soulmate relationship uh, for the majority of you. If not a uh, twin flame soulmate, most definitely a life partner. Um, 
this person is a person of action. They have uh, a lot of passion towards life and they're not afraid to go after what it is that they want. And for a lot of you, they are in search of that 10 of cups with you. Um, with the temperance and the 10 of cups here, most definitely a very strong soulmate twin flame vibe. So, all right, Gemini, you guys with the three of pentacles and the three of swords, both in the upright, um, you are involved in a third party, whether you're the one that has it or you're the one that is in it. Um, either way, it's, it's breaking some hearts here. You, uh, there's somebody on the outside here. Uh, I am seeing it both ways. So if you are the one that's on the outside, if you're the one waiting for a third party re to return, you know that something just isn't right. You know that, uh, that there's things going on that they're not speaking of. There's things going on that, that you just know there's something more to the story and you're just patiently waiting to find out what it is that's going on. Um, they're not telling you anything. And you're like, you are the one that's a secret for a lot of you. For um, some of you, you are the one with the third party and it's time to, um, to listen to your intuition. It's time to listen to your heart. Uh, quit going with what is logical, what you think it should be, because your ego will out, uh, your ego will talk you out of things that you are meant to have. Uh, so you're being encouraged to follow your intuition, follow your heart and figure out what relationship you're going to work on. Because the, the, the three of you, uh, that has to end. That energy has to, to come to a stop because you're wearing yourself out. Um, if you're the one that is the one on the outside waiting for your person to come in, you are, um, you are just hoping that, that they're going to reach out to you, hoping that they're going to communicate with you. Cause right now they're silent. There's not a whole lot of words spoken. Um, you could be in complete, you could be completely blocked from this person, but this person is going to make up their mind. They're going to come in very quickly and very fast and decide to, uh, and decide who they want to be with. For some of you, they are leaving the marriage and this is breaking, you know, their spouse's heart. This is breaking their heart for, for leaving this family behind, leaving this spouse behind. Um, for some of you, they're coming in and telling you that they're not leaving the spouse and that's going to break your heart. Um, if you're the one that is waiting for somebody, or if you are the one with the third party, I mean, um, it's time to listen to your intuition and it's time to make some movement. You guys are standing still. It's time to move and time to move quickly. Um, for the majority of you, I do see you leaving a commitment, breaking a contract, um, using the sword to cut all ties um, to uh, a contract that you have with somebody, a legal agreement, whether it be a marriage or, you know, leaving a home. I see for some of you, and there's just a lot of heartache around it because this is, this is hard for you. You've been with this person for a long time. You've, um, you've invested a lot in this situation, but you're no longer happy and it's time to take action, time to move forward. Um, the king of wands here, they always take action. I do see you, uh, breaking free, moving forward, um, ready and willing to put the time and effort it is going to take to, to bring this to fruition. There's a, like a mass awakening in this next week with the, on the fifth, with the, uh, partial solar eclipse, that energy is going to awaken a lot of, uh, the divine masculine or, you know, your soulmates in separation. And it's going to, uh, make them move forward, going to make them, uh, they're going to start cutting things out of their life that, that do not vibrate at the same level that they that they are all of a sudden feeling they're very confused, um, by this energy for a lot of them, but they do know they have to take action. They do know they have to move forward. Um, and right now they're not speaking cause they're confused. They don't have the answers. They don't know what to say. Um, and, but it is going to come clear to them. They have a lot of healing to do for this group of you. Um, you know, when you look back, when you started the journey, um, how long did it take you before you were healed? How long did it take you to feel that you were okay, that you could get over this broken heart that they caused? 
that's where they're at. They're at the beginning. Um, they are just starting to awaken, starting to heal and move forward from this broken heart. So you need to be patient with them. If you're the one waiting, if you are the one that is, uh, healing, uh, continue to heal, continue to, um, work on yourself and work hard at, uh, bringing balance back into your life. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so for, you know, I'm going to clarify the major arcanas. Why is the high priestess here for Gemini? Just to get a little more clarity. Why is the high priestess here for Gemini? Yeah, see, they're not telling you everything or you're not telling somebody something. But there's an imbalance of uh, energy here. And if you're the one that's waiting on someone, you can feel it. You know it. You know something's not right. Uh, they could have possibly told you that they've left this person already. But you just know that the energy is not an equal give and take. Um, that, is going to, uh, that is going to change, however, with the High Priestess in the Upright and the Six of Pentacles in the Reverse. They are going to um, move forward towards their soulmate. I did not call that card, so I am going to put it back. But that energy is going to balance out because they are working on... Um, on healing themselves. Why is it here if I here in reverse for Gemini? All right. Yeah, the judgment in reverse. So they are leaving somebody that they're in a commitment from or with. They are having their aha moment. They are having their, their wake up call right now. They're waking up and realizing this isn't the, the relationship I want. I don't want to be in this commitment anymore. And they are going to, as much as it breaks their heart, they are going to break this commitment with this person. Um, I do see for this group of you towards the end of January, uh, you uh, will be in a different um, energy with this person and moving towards your, uh, your union, your reunion. All right. So Libras, you guys have an amazing reading here. You are moving forward and moving forward very quickly. Um, you are going to um, no longer carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. You're heading towards the tower. And when you lay this down, when you end this cycle, then you ride the chariot on out of there. Um, there is a movement. Finally, you guys are moving away from a situation that, that exhausted you, that took uh, a lot out of you. Um, and you are moving into this hanged man. I do feel you put yourself here. You um, hung yourself from the hanging tree to uh, to just take some time to get away, to take some time to think what it is that uh, you want out of this life. You're coming to a end of an era. You're starting to question, what am I doing? Where am I going? What should I what should I do with my life? What is my purpose here? And so you are moving forward toward in your spiritual journey. You are going to uh, Put down all the weight that you've been carrying for this long. You've tried to make this relationship work and it's just not working out. Um, and you just can't carry that burden anymore. You are coming to the end of a cycle. Yep. You're moving away from an energy of that's that was very deceptive, that caused you a lot of hurt. Um, you, you're trying to escape something. However, uh, with the seven of swords, he's got the three swords that go in the heart, the two swords of choice and, uh, the two, he couldn't make a decision. So he left the two swords in the ground. So, uh, this is somebody that's been very in and out of your life. Um, this is somebody who, uh, who doesn't, who comes in and then can't stay, doesn't want to stay, um, very in and out. And with the chariot, it's, it's often, it's very quick. Um, they come in, then they leave. They want to see you again. Then they come, you know, they come back, they see you for a couple of days, they miss you, you know, then all of a sudden they're gone again. That energy is coming to an end. And because you are moving forward, you're no longer waiting for this person to return because you're tired of the weight, you're tired of the deception, and you're just, God damn it, you are just tired. You are you are putting this uh relationship to the past. And not, and not uh, waiting any longer. You are going to be the one that delivers the tower to um, whoever this energy is that keeps coming in and out of your life and can't make a decision. 
on whether they want to stay or go. Why is the hanged man here for Libra? Like I said, you put yourself in that hanged man position. Um, so you can take some time to yourself. Wow. And you had the lovers come out. So you put yourself in this decision or you put yourself in this position because somebody, it did come out in the reverse, but I'm going to hold it up in the upright because somebody couldn't make a decision. Somebody couldn't make a choice. Somebody was in and out back and forth. And, um, so you are walking away from this person that could not make a choice and you are taking the time to yourself to heal, to reflect, to, um, to find your balance again, find your center, find your, uh, yeah, find your happiness, your true happiness. All right. Um, after you, uh, put yourself in this hang man position, you are going to get a new idea. It's something's going to hit you. It's going to be like an aha moment for you guys as well. And it's going to spark a new, uh, a new form of passion. And it is going to give you the courage, the, the, the strength to go after this, uh, this situation, this, this thing that you want to do. Why is the Ace of Wands here? We'll just clarify it real quick. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Libra? Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Ace of Wands. Okay, the Ace of Swords in reverse. So, um, you're going to come... You are going to um, come out of this confusing time. Though, though the words are not coming from the person who is in and out of your life, um, you are finding clarity in that hanged man. And it's going to um, allow you to move forward and go after something that you want. And you could be the one that's in the third party here uh, that has the third party. But... Um, yeah, for some of you, that is the case. But for the majority of you, you're choosing self-love and you are choosing to go towards a love that is going to find you victory, um, that's going to be passionate and you're going to be able to create with um, somebody. Bottom of the deck is temperance, by the way, of the clarifying deck. You're going to um, choose to leave behind this relationship that was very karmic. Um, for you, you thought this relationship was your twin flame. You thought you were waiting on and dealing with the person who was your twin, but really it was a karmic partner coming in and out, in and out. You are walking away from that relationship because that's what it's being called for. And you are um, moving forward because this person constantly put you in waiting. This person constantly had you waiting for their return because they couldn't make a decision they couldn't um, decide whether to stay or go. They couldn't decide whether to leave somebody and stay. Um, and when you were in this time of hanged man, you got it. It sparked. You hit it. This person is putting you in this constant state of confusion to keep you waiting, to keep you thinking that there is something going um, to come of this relationship. But really, um, you are figuring it out that you are going to walk away to choose love for yourself. And in that uh, walking away, your true twin flame, your true soulmate is going to come towards you. You are going to find love when you walk away from this person. Walk away with your head held high. Take the lessons you learned. Take, uh, leave the heartache at the door and move forward. And you're going to victoriously move towards um, your real twin flame. Uh, in this time, you're going to really take the time to work on healing yourself, finding balance, and uh, finding this Ten of Cups love. For the majority of you, this is a fire sign for this for the Libras. Um, you are moving towards someone who's very well balanced, very well grounded, very passionate about life. Um, is a good family man. Sometimes they think or act before they think, but it's okay because they're good at it. They um, this person is very confident in themselves. This person is very loving and devoted and committed and will be true to you. They will not bring this energy of the seven of swords to you guys, which will be a breath of fresh air. But most importantly, you're going to be vic victorious in 
moving towards your real twin and, and getting out of this karmic cycle that you guys have been on. This has been a karmic cycle over and over. Um, this person in and out, in and out. And you, you were waiting because you thought they were really your twin flame. And, um, and you're figuring it out in this time of the hanged man that that wasn't the case at all. All right. For you Aquarians, you have the queen of swords taking action. Um, not afraid to speak her mind, not afraid to, um, move in the direction that is meant to be. You are, uh, moving towards the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. This is somebody, um, you've been kind of taking a back seat and this can be male or female, but you have been kind of just sitting there waiting, deciding what to do. Um, yeah, waiting for somebody to come in and speak the truth to you, waiting for somebody to come back and offer you this new beginning, this committed relationship that is full of love. And what you've gotten is a whole lot of emotional unavailableness. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Aquarius? But Aquarius, don't get me wrong. They may be emotionally available this weekend, but holy cow, your reading is amazing. Yeah, you are being offered. This is something that has already happened. This is something of the past. You are healing from this. You are um, working on balance with the temperance here as the bottom of your deck. You are regaining your self-confidence and you are going to be well rewarded from the universe um, with your abundance, with your finances, with your emotion. I mean, everything. Abundance is coming in for you as well as a new home, stability, um, something to build this solid foundation on because the tower came crashing down. Now it's time to rebuild and you're going to rebuild with this person um, because the universe is giving you a second chance with this person. Um, yeah, because you're no longer feeling stuck or trapped or they're not. You felt like you were trapped by your emotions. You felt like you could never get over this tower. You felt like, um, there was no point in trying because you were so heartbroken, but confusion is no longer there. Um, you will come out of this emotional unavailableness or the person that you are dealing with because they've been emotionally unavailable because they were confused. There was a lot of people putting a lot of uh, things in their head. There was a lot of people telling them things that weren't true. Um, so they just, uh, retreated. They pulled back. They held onto their feelings tight. They considered you precious, but they were worried to invest in you because what if everybody was right? What if all the rumors they were hearing, what if all the, their family members, their friends, uh, that were intentionally trying to confuse them were right, but they're coming out of this, uh, form of mental trapped, uh, feelings because they're being enlightened. The, the divine, the universe, they are shedding light on this situation, on your situation, and they are coming, um, back. They are coming back to offer you this, asking you to help rebuild this, um, this relationship that wasn't so sturdy the first time that <clears throat> outside people easily penetrated the, the walls of the tower and brought it down because they were, uh, convincing this person that there was deception here. They were convincing this person that there was things going on that really weren't. And that confusion is coming to an end. And long story short, Aquarius, this is what you guys have, um, to look forward to. You're going to move forward, um, and build, rebuild this relationship with this person. Um, and you will be very happy, very financially successful, very, emotionally successful spiritually you guys are ascending to a higher level and this is most definitely your twin flame your soulmate um and you have nothing but uh but you have nothing but happiness coming towards you but you have to work hard to um to get that happiness before this person can come forward because you have to heal you have to be able to make yourself happy before this can come from somebody else um, but I do see that happening. You just have to let go of the, these emotions. You have to let go of this hurt and you have to be emotionally available and vulnerable in order for this person to be able to come back and, um, and build this new life with you. It could be from somebody from your past <clears throat> in this lifetime or lifetimes before, but you need to let go of that, uh, of those hard feelings that you're harboring and open your heart back up for love again. 
Um, you could have been, you know, kind of jaded due to past relationships. Um, but this is the real deal. So allow your heart to open back up and, uh, and accept this love from this person as well as healing yourself too. So, all right, let's see what you guys have for the weekend from the romance angels. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in that order. One card per, uh, Zodiac, please. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Libra. Thank you. And Aquarius. Okay. So, Gemini, you, oh, Libra, you guys had two come out. Awesome. All right, Gemini, you guys have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves with each other, your bond deepens. So you guys will have to get back, uh, get to know each other again after you guys come back together. This is after they leave a partner for the majority of you. You guys have changed. You guys have ev evolved. You guys have um, gone through rebirths and you're different people. And you will enjoy getting to know each other um, once again in the new relationship you guys will be starting. Libra, this is beautiful. Reconciliation and true love. Um, someone from your past is returning to your life. And this romance is, uh, this is a romance of a lifetime. When you guys um, move away from that uh, karmic partner that you thought was a twin flame, that you thought was a soulmate, uh, somebody from your past, past life is coming back for you. This is your real twin flame. This is your true love. And this relationship will find um, much happiness and success. This is most definitely from your past life, your, your real soulmate, your real twin flame. And Aquarius, you guys are in separation right now. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Um, for the majority of you, I see you already are in separation. This is um, why you are still healing from this tower. After this separation, after the healing has happened, um, that is when they will return with that four of wands, ace of pentacles, and ace of cups. So, Overall, good weekend for you, Air Signs. I hope you have a beautiful week. Once again, for those of you who um, ordered from me this last week while I've been sick, I will get those out to you tonight or uh, first thing tomorrow. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Um, I very much appreciate it. And uh, thank you. Thank you. So, all right, guys, I will see you next time. Have a beautiful weekend. God bless.